Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we compare functions. This question has four parts. It's an open response question. I'll read each part and then ask you to pause to solve. An art teacher needs to buy 20 shirts for a class project. She can buy the shirts at a local store or online. The graph shows the cost in dollars for different numbers of shirts at the local store. Here's part A. Based on the graph, what is the cost in dollars for each shirt at the local store? Please pause now. Welcome back. So we are going to go look at our graph over here and we can see that we have a proportional relationship. So it passes through the origin. Now we go up and we can see that two shirts cost $10. So that's a ratio of $10 for two shirts, but we're asked to find the value of one shirt. So 10 divided by two is five, so we know that each shirt cost $5. Part B, write a function that can be used to find Y, the total cost in dollars of buying X shirts from the local store. Please pause now. Welcome back. So we know that this is representing a linear function. We can see that we could connect all these dots with a line. The reason that it isn't connected here is because we can't buy part of a shirt. You're not gonna buy a half a shirt or one and a half shirts or two and two third shirts. So we call this a discrete function and there's no line, but it's in a linear pattern. So slope intercept form represents the equation of a line y equals mx plus b. So we need to identify the slope from our graph and the y-intercept. So we know that our slope is 5 because in a linear function, your unit rate in a real-world problem represents your slope, which we did in part A. Now our y-intercept is our initial amount or where the line crosses the y-axis, and we can see that in this graph it's 0. So y is equal to the slope 5 times x, and then the plus 0 is invisible. So we can just say y equals 5x represents this graph. Part C. The teacher could buy the shirts online for $3.50 each. She would also pay a fee of $9.50 for shipping the shirts. Write a function that can be used to find Y, the cost in dollars of buying X shirts online. Please pause now. Welcome back. So we now know that we're going to use slope intercept form again, and we need to identify the slope, which is the cost for one shirt plus any initial amount. So we go back to our problem and we see that they're going to pay $3.50 each to go online. So that's my slope. And then over here, she's also going to pay a fee of $9.50 for shipping the shirts. So that's a flat fee for shipping the order of her t-shirts that she orders, and that's an initial fee. No matter how many shirts she orders, they're telling us that we're, she's paying $9.50 to ship them. So it's not per shirt, it's for the total order. So we're going to rewrite this with those values. Our M is replaced with $3.50 and B, our Y-intercept, is the shipping cost, $9.50. So Y is equal to 350X plus 950. Part D. The teacher wants to spend the least amount of money. Should she buy the 20 shirts from the local store or online? Please pause now. Welcome back. So we're gonna go back to the local store and we wrote the equation y equals 5x to represent that from the graph we were given. So $5 per shirt. And then our online, we wrote the equation y equals $3.50 per shirt plus the $9.50 shipping fee. So now we're going to go take our 20 shirts and plug those in for the values of x and see which one is the better deal. So y is equal to 5 times 20, which is 100. So it would cost her $100 if she went to the local store to buy 20 shirts. Now let's go online. $3.50 times the 20 shirts plus the shipping fee. 
So we get 350 times 20 plus 950 is 7950. So we can conclude that the teacher should buy the t-shirts online since 20 shirts would cost $20.50 less than the local store. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math. I hope you'll continue on to the next math test prep video.